Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're here to take a look at a new stylus. This is the Pogo Connect by 101 Design. And it's really designed to be a stylus for a touch sensitive device such as the uh, iPad or touchscreen. And uh, what makes this particular stylus different and is quickly becoming uh, definitely one of my favorites is that unlike all the other stylus I have or styli I have, <laughs> Uh, this one is actually Bluetooth enabled and pressure sensitive. Now the iPad screen itself is not pressure sensitive. It's either tap on or off just like a mouse. So if you're in an application where you're trying to draw something or sketch something, uh, you basically are just limited by the tools and weight of the brush and so forth and so on. But if you were, let's say on your computer using a Wacom stylus or Wacom tablet, you would of course have pressure sensitivity, whereas the harder you press down, uh, the bigger your stroke would be, or the thicker your stroke would be, or the more defined your stroke would be, and the lighter would be the opposite. So instead of building that into the device itself, uh, Tin One has built it into a stylus, where the tip of the stylus itself is where the pressure comes in. Now, I have um, mixed feelings about this particular stylus, and I will show you what I mean by that as I go through this uh, quick demo. So one of the reasons why I'm interested in this technology all of a sudden is because the new Photoshop Touch update for iPad actually now supports pressure sensitive stylus. So let's go ahead and launch uh, Photoshop Touch. And I'm just gonna quickly show you where the settings are. So we're just gonna go to our settings here. And uh, under the settings, there's new, a new stylus command. So I'm gonna tap on that. And it already, I already have the uh, Pogo Connect Stylus configured, um, but if you didn't, this is where you actually do the pairing. So when I first got it, I was thinking you have to pair it in the system with other Bluetooth devices, but you actually pair the stylus in the application that you're working on. Now, if I go to configure, it shows me that it is connected and ready to go. So great, we're ready to use it and ready to try it. Now, if I don't, even if I was in an application that didn't support it, it would still work like a regular stylus. You just wouldn't have pressure sensitivity. Now let's go ahead and create a new empty document so I can show you um, what I mean by the stylus being pressure sensitive. So I have my brush uh, tool set up here in Photoshop Touch and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the stylus and make a stroke. Now the stroke, as you can see, has some transparency in it. We're seeing through it to the checkerboard pattern, but if I press harder, I basically get um, a thicker, more filled in stroke. So that's the pressure sensitivity just on the stroke itself, but it doesn't stop there. If we go in, we can actually go into that particular tool where there's a little stylus icon and we can now say that it not only controls opacity, but it also controls size. So now we get the bigger stroke or the smaller stroke based on pressure sensitivity. So we can get out of that or maybe we can't, there we go. And let's undo that last little dot there. And now we can go ahead and now I get a thinner stroke or a thicker stroke. And this is the kind of stuff that we're used to working with in our graphics environment, our graphics tablets. Now, that's my love part of this is that that works. My, uh, and I would say my, I don't call it hate, but my not so much love is that um, because the tip is rounded and rubbery, it's like it's hard to know when you're making contact. Like I'm touching the screen right now and if, if I just press a little harder, then I actually get a stroke. But if I don't press hard enough, then I'll start stroke, I'll start painting without actually having anything there because I'm just not pressing hard enough yet. So that's gonna take a little getting used to uh, especially if you come from the world of using a uh, Intuos or Wacom pen, it's just going to take you a little while to get used to knowing how hard to press to actually get the strokes to happen. So let's uh, let's jump out of this. For example, actually let's go back and use our eraser here. We are on the eraser. There we go. All right, now we're erasing. And let's see if we can also make the eraser uh, control the size as well. So that setting is for each individual tool. And the harder I press now, the, I get a bigger eraser. And 
you get the idea. Just trying to get some of this off the screen. There we go. Nice and clean here. Okay, good enough. And now we can switch back to the brush and we can try it out with a cleaner display here. So let's give it a shot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign my name. Yes, that's how I sign my name. No, just kidding, that last part is too thick. So let's undo it and let's uh, get a little bit more control there. And again, that's what I meant by learning how hard to press and when. So that's not actually how I do my signature, but I'm a little bit at an angle for the recording but just to give you the idea of how this works. Now let's try it in a practical application. Um, since I'm not an artist, I will not be drawing free form like that. As you can tell, you wouldn't want me to do that. And now let's get to an actual image where I would use this technology. And that is uh, in the, not in the brush tool necessarily, but in the clone stamp tool. So let me check my settings here for this tool. And yes, it is set to control size. I did do that already. And now, uh, the first thing we do is we tell it the source. So we just basically pick a source that we want. I'll pick it on this side. And then we can just start cloning and cloning a little bit or a lot by how hard I press down. So I never thought I would say that I like doing this on an iPad or a touch uh, screen, but now I do because I have more control. It's all about the control, which makes um, working with these uh, tablets for graphic design or Photoshop work uh, all that much better. So there we go. And so that is the uh, quick demo of the Pogo Connect from uh, from Ten One Design also using the newly updated Photoshop Touch for iPad. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.